you know what? I'm sick of this. I'm sick of, you know, being hot and always being sweaty. I'm sick of it, boys. You know, the only problem with being sweaty and hot in these videos is that it's really distracting from everything. Really, it, it is. It's annoying. Constantly, I have to put up with this. I don't like that. Welcome to a stupid commercials episode and proudly announcing that this show is not going anywhere. Today, I think we should take a gander at Arctic Air. So on the subject of being hot, uh, our stupid commercials topic today is Arctic Air. So, yeah, Arctic Air is like a, like a little AC box that like uh, that makes you cold, like it, it blows cold air on your face or something. And it's like, it takes hot air and turn it into cold air and it blows it at you. And some stuff like that. Today we're going to watch a commercial like that. We're going to give our critiques about it. And it's going to turn out to be a great video today. I hope. You want to stay cool when you're feeling hot, but running your air conditioner all day costs a lot. Fans are bulky and just blow hot air in your face. There has to be a better way to cool down your place. Introducing Arctic Air, the personal space cooler that turns hot spaces into cool, refreshing places for just pennies a day. Bruh. Excuse me, but that's okay. Give me a minute here. Let me just clarify something. So it costs a lot of money to run an air conditioner in your house and and stuff, but you're still paying for air no matter what. I mean, Arctic Air, you plug in, so technologically you're still paying for it. When they say pennies, that's that doesn't mean anything, okay? There's no way you're paying pennies for cold air, okay? Fuck, if that's the case, I might as well buy it then. Hey, whether you want to cool off in a hot kitchen or stay nice and comfy watching TV, Arctic Air lets you create your own personal comfort zone. Just add water and press the button. It requires water. Okay. I mean, realistically, sure, that makes sense, but I don't get it. Like, why does it need water? So it can consume, like, air? Like, what if that water runs out? Like, do you have to... Okay, let's just... Let's be honest here. I'm gonna get really close to the camera so I can, you know, so you can hear my honesty. Do you have to, like, keep putting water in it? Or to, like, turn it on? Or is there a limit to where, like, you can't have it on for too long? Because it, it's kind of like a car. You have gas. If you run it for too long, that gas will run out. Is it, is it kind of like that? Am I, is that my, am I making sense to you yet? Is your brain functioning well, like it should be. Something's wrong here, and I don't understand. See, the problem with that I have with Arctic Air right now is that when you're hot, you have a little box that you turn on, you pour water in it, you plug it. I think you plug it in. Wait. Okay. Am I being dumb, or is this like like a true thing? Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. When you plug in something. And water, does that, like, cause, like, a very bad malfunction if that goes wrong? Because, like, water and electricity don't really go together. It's like gasoline with fire, you know? It's, it's, it's dangerous. What was I talking about? I don't know. My theories have corrupted me. Like the Russian collusion. Like the North Korean missiles. Like Donald Trump's handwriting. Like, uh... Jimmy Kimmel's face. Look, portable air conditioners take up so much space and have to vent out a window. But Arctic Air is self-contained and lightweight. So now, you can have cool, clean air anywhere. I love the fact that they're rhyming. It's like any other, you know, mumbo-jumbo, casualty, uh, bullshit, false advertisement commercial. It's just like, are you tired of being ill? Well, why don't you take some of this dill? <laughs> <laughs> That's actually really funny. I don't know. <laughs> I need a fan. I'm sore. But it's like, like, well, I don't get it. Like, a, a very shitty commercial, you have to rhyme in it? Is, is that like a good like business model like oh we're gonna make a commercial and, and you gotta rhyme in it so that way it gets people's attention yeah Larry what do you think you should jump off a building this is why I 
I don't listen to you. Yeah, what do you guys think? Should you buy the Arctic Air or should you not? Should you should you just live on your life like a normal human being or should you just actually like sit down and drink a beer and enjoy and enjoy life your way if you think that's chilling and relaxing. I'm gonna have the Arctic air blowing on me and it's gonna make me feel nice and comfortable. I'm not gonna be able to leave my chair because it's so comfy. Well, yeah, I have a perfectly good air conditioning that I, I pay money for that blows just as good as the Arctic air. Uh, I get it, I get it, okay? Normal air conditioners are very inconvenient. Yeah, sure, that makes sense. The Arctic air is small. You can probably lose that somewhere. Like, a big AC, not a big problem, okay? You know where that is. You can't mistake it for a trash can. You can't mistake it for a cardboard box. You can't mistake it for your girlfriend. Like, bruh. Bruh. Here's the, like, the thing that I, I really kind of like about the Arctic Air is that it blows cold air at you. That, that sort of makes sense, I guess. Let's just watch the rest of this commercial and we might give our the rest of our opinion out. I'm trying to think of a really smart word and I just can't help. Even the intense heat of this blow dryer reads at 96 degrees. But with Arctic Air, it's a comfortable 72. The secret is HydroChill technology that uses an evaporative air cooling filter that pulls in hot air and instantly transforms it into cool, refreshing air. The digital thermostat gives you precise control. It has a thermostat. This is like new generation. I love it now. I get it. I'm with the kids. And the two-speed fan is whisper quiet. Up to eight hours on just one filling. And there's even a soothing nightlight. What a great way to cool off your bedroom without air conditioning your entire home. Arctic Air also purifies and humidifies your air, so it's better for you and your family. Plus, you can even beat the heat outdoors and enjoy a cool, refreshing breeze even on the hottest day. So that's basically it. That's the whole, you know, commercial. But if you want to know how much it is, let me just say, you might want to be sitting down, because if you're standing up, you might just die. Actually, you'll die like in Fortnite. You have to pay $19.99 with two payments. You want to know how much that is? Let me just... <coughs> Let me just give you a little bit of context. With two payments, that's 40 bucks, And with a small little AC with a thermostat and little... Dinger dongers, with, you put water in, you plug in, yada yada yada. You have to pay two payments of $19.99, yet we are, we're, we're still paying money for normal ACs. I like the fact that they had to add in a woman doing yoga with the, with the Arctic air blowing on her, like, okay, cool. Like, I don't do yoga, so like, I don't get the point. I, mm. I'm only seeing this for myself. I don't see it for anyone else. I don't know what's wrong with society anymore. But can I just like briefly add to the fact that the people who designed this business model and the idea of Arctic Air, I think y'all might be a little retarded. But see, because, you know, at least they tried, you know, they wanted to be convenient, you know, they wanted to add something to the world and make it a new invention, but. What do you think Nikola Tesla said to some guy when he introduced the Tesla Tower? What do you think they said to him? You're an idiot, get out. I think this is um, going to be a, a, an ending to this video. Thank you for watching stupid commercials. Uh, it's been really, really fun. And yeah, I'm just gonna go um, eat some burritos and get some gas. Now he done it. He said gas three times in this video. What the F? What the freak? That gas will run out. It's like gasoline with fire. Eat some burritos and get some gas. Why did you have to say gas this three times, my boy? Why? What's wrong with you? Cue that outro. Hey Chris, before you count staff, no one had a clue yet. True vanity invented you. So listen up, Chris. What you did was cringy, God, this have to rule a bunch of kids. After hearing this, you might need some new sheets. Vanity's the one that made you. I walked inside the Gucci store and everything.